been a big couple of weeks. How have you found it all? The like first game, the first home game, first win. How has it been? Yeah, I think all of it was pretty cool. Hey. Um, just getting back into footy as well, especially with the first game. Obviously not the result, but I feel like we found our base after that. And um, the next game, especially being our home game, we really protected our home. So, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's been really, really good. And some bodies are sore and others aren't, obviously. But, um, yeah, now I feel like the girls are getting more excited every week we play. So, yeah. How did it feel to run out to the Viking Cup? Oh, that was so cool, like more more than surreal. Um, I remember when it started, I didn't realise it was starting, I didn't really click on that it was starting and then I was getting a bit teary. Um, I don't know, I just felt really warm, you know, I felt really warm on the inside and I don't know, running out to it and running through that um, like flag thing, that was that was really cool. So yeah, it's, it was just great to see that, you know, the support for both NRL and NRLW. So yeah. Could you tell the yeah, yeah, it felt. It definitely felt like um, uh, a big crowd, especially um, the way they were cheering when, whenever we um, did something good. When even when we did stuff bad, I could just hear the crowd. Like especially from where I was standing, the sideline, like it's alright, go again. You know, it was, it was. It felt really cool, and um, the people there just felt like they were really genuinely supporting us. You know, came to watch us, um, and yeah. You applied it to pretty big plays towards the end of the game there, your try and the steal at the end. Um, how special is it to be part of that? Yeah, uh, I think the, the try kind of just, I don't know, it really was a shock to me that I got the ball, actually, because at first I just kind of felt like I was selling it, selling it. And then I guess Ash just seen the hole open up and I seen the hole open up and kind of hoping last minute that she'd give it to me and she did and just got lucky there. Um, but yeah, with the steal... Yeah, I don't know. That was just kind of like a, oh, I feel like this girl's going to score. i got to take it off <laughs> kind of still. So, yeah, but it was just, I, I guess, good timing at that time. And, um, yeah, and I felt like before that, I just got more confident. Like, before both the try and the still, the girls were making me more confident with how we were playing and everything. And um, there was a lot of positivity on the field, you know. So I feel like that kind of led up to the plays that I performed. Yeah, more than excited. Um, I'm actually so ready, especially it being a home game. I'm, I'm so excited. So hopefully dig into some training today and on Thursday and then captains run Saturday. And then, yeah, big dance. Um, the Roosters obviously a very talented side. You guys are so proud of how good you fought against them. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, like Mimes was saying in the change rooms, we do have idols in there. And I know personally I do have some idols in there. But... Once we hit that field, I know each and every one of us just kind of flipped the switch and was like, "No, this is our home. We don't, we don't really matter who you, who you guys are." And yeah, there was a lot of talk around of oh, Roosters winning and their side, but I guess at the end of the day, we just really put our foot down and was like, "No, we're not going to give it that easily." You know, whether whether we lost, whether we won, we I feel like we were all ready to put up a fight. And yeah, I'm more than proud of the girls. It's been a couple of upsets over the weekend. Um, it's sort of Hundred percent, hundred percent. I guess it just kind of shows that one, there's a lot of talent across all the teams, and two, that every team is beatable. You know, nothing's really impossible. So, yeah. You were part of a pretty special moment um, after the game with Simon, the Raiders drummer, and the fans over the other side of the field. Um, how special is that for you, especially considering C O used to do that? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, it was quite a shock to me at first when. Um, I got called over to that side, we ran there and he just kind of had the stick and the drum out and I was like, there's no way he's making me do this. <laughs> but um, yeah, once I started hitting it and not only that, like I just, I felt like everyone wanted to participate in it, which was, I wouldn't say a shock, but more so overwhelming in that moment. Like, wow, like these guys really support us, you know, and um, it goes to show how good the Canberra fan base is. But yeah, it, it is very special to me, especially seeing um, my uncle Sia, um, hitting the drum himself as well. I've always wanted to hit it, but yeah, my I finally hit it on Saturday, and yeah, it felt so good before, during, and after. Is that something you'd like to continue to? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can, um, and if not me, just hopefully any any one of us girls just hit the drum after we win. But yeah. And you yeah, come up against the Tigers this week. They've won their first two games. How mm. much was that challenge? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm I'm really ready for it, and I'm and I'm more than sure that the girls are ready for it. You know, we've been talking about it ever since um, last week. 
and although it's been three or two days, it kind of just shows that, you know, they're hungry, they've left that win behind, we reset and we keep going, so, um, yeah, definitely ready for the challenge and excited, um, it's gonna, it definitely is going to be hard, but we've just got to push through it.